What is going on guys? We have Corey's FRS in here. We have Corey right there. eBay wide body kit, XXR wheels. So you know what that means? That means we're gonna put the Ferrari Maserati, actually Maserati engine F136 with the T56 in there and build some mounts. So let's get to it. when there's only one place in the world that makes it. Yeah. So this is a one of one. It's not one of one. Or one of a few. Yo. Nice, good packing. We got a comment on the packing. Look at that. I see like beautiful packing. It's average packing. We got some nice foam. They ain't paying us. I'm trying to hype them up, okay, Matt? Shit, they, what the fuck did oh, they do? It's a stack of cardboard. What the fuck? After plate and a bell housing. That. Wow. Looks neat, neat. I don't really like how like the machining is. What, like how this? they didn't like how they didn't like contour it to the bell housing. They're just like here's a fucking here's a plate. Yeah, here, here's it's a kinda plate. It's kind of heavy too. Feel it. Oh, it can't really not be heavy, but yeah, yeah that is pretty heavy. It's pretty hefty. That's a hefty girl. ACP clutch. Okay. Let's see what's in this box. That would be oh, the throw up there. Uh, throw up there. Excessive I like the Ziploc, just the regular Ziploc bags. <laughs> they ain't got shit on us with our fancy bags. All right, so we got a bunch of hardware. Oh, there's your fancy adapter. Oh, oh, this is your flywheel. Oh, flywheel. Is that adapter? The flywheel adapter, one thing that was going to be a pain in the ass if we made it ourselves. SFI ACT flywheel though. Fancy. Oh, and also they said you need the, the, the like Maserati engine side flywheel for the starter and stuff. I have all the instructions in an email. Oh, okay. So I'll have to order that too. Yep. And we have uh, Oh, there's your clutch. There she is. There's the clutch. Let's see what kind of clutch it is. Standard old, I think it's like a stage like one or one and a half clutch setup. Single disc. Ooh. Mm. Little grippy face on one side, not bad. Hell yeah. Well, there it is. So just to recap, if you saw any of the previous videos, this is a Ferrari F136. It is out of a Maserati sedan. I don't know. We got that adapter plate by uh, AL Hot Rods. Some hot rod shop. T56 transmission, like standard LS, LT1 transmission. It's actually out of an early Camaro, so it's an LT1 trans. You, know, go down. you can bring it down. And we're dropping it in. And then we're gonna see how she fits. We're gonna have like 50 clearance issues right off the bat. Now we have the sway bar dropped out of the car completely. And then we have the front subframe lowered down on the bolts about as far as it can go. Um, so that gave us an extra inch of clearance. If you look down here, we have a little bit of clearance to go back. Up top, we have basically no clearance on this. I'm thinking we're gonna have to get rid of this reservoir and run a remote reservoir. And if we're lucky, we'll be able to run the factory master. Who knows, we'll see. Let's get to it. So we ripped the motor back out of here. And what we're gonna have to do is get rid of this giant bracket here. Uh, we found a video for Sicky's T56 LS1 install kit. He got rid of this and then we're gonna have to do a little clearancing here, which we'll show you. And then a little bit of clearancing here as well. Um, and that's all they said they had to do. And then Sicky offers a bracket, which kind of bolts to like here and there, I guess. So we may use the sicky one or we may just replicate it because we can do that. So that will determine how we're gonna do it. The sicky one may not work because obviously that's not an LS T56, um, but if we're lucky, it'll work just fine and we can use the sicky one because that'll save some time. So now we got this stupid cross member thing out of the way. Got these sections there, right there, hammered in. Uh, both sides were about three quarters of an inch, half inch or something. Um, and then we didn't do any other hammering for all this area. I don't think we have to. I don't think we have to either. So we're gonna toss this engine and trans back in and see if it fits. Oh no. Oh. Bye, Corey. Well, attempt number two of getting the engine in and we got the engine in. Shit, but it's there. 
it's there. And it's really stupid. Uh, it fits pretty well. Currently, our clearance issues are, uh, there's some tabs on the bottom of the oil pan I'll show you in a second. Front subframe is dropped about an inch, and we have less than a half inch of clearance from the engine to the cross member, which means the engine and the cross member need to come up about an inch. In here, the shifter fits in there. It's a little far forward, but that's not the worst thing in the world. That's kind of okay. Uh, we can live with that if that's where it's gonna land because we do have a bunch of other clearance issues back here. So basically this is as far back as we can get the motor and trans set up. But now we just need to work on getting them up. We're gonna cut the stuff on the bottom of the engine, some little brackets that aren't needed. Drop it back in again, I guess. So how mad do you think if I post this on the Ferrari enthusiast and owners worldwide? <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we're dropping it in for the third time. Uh, this bracket I cut off while it was in the car because that was a clearance issue. And under here, Corey trimmed that one, trimmed that one, got rid of this, which is unbolted. Now we're gonna see. And we also have the steering rack lightly bolted up, just sitting in place. Hopefully that's not gonna be a clearance issue on the install, but if it is, whatever. Unbolt that again. Let's see how it should fit. Oh, and we also pulled the bracket off of there, which had the line. Uh, basically secured the hard line to the soft line. Throwing in. It snowed a lot last night. Plow guy made a giant pile of the parking lot, and we're gonna go climb it. Oh, fuck. It's fucking cold. It's cold. Now I built the upper part of the motor mount that bolts to the motor itself, and that's gonna house this poly bushing right here. It'll focus on that, there you go. Um, but right now it has these little aluminum pieces in it that help me build it. So right there you can see CNC plasma cut, the piece that bolts the motor, and those little uprights, and then I had this little, the little DOM piece right there. Uh, it has a Zerk fitting. It was meant for a suspension bushing, but no big deal, it's whatever. Uh, I also CNC plasma cut this, so it has a little, it has an oval slot for a little bit of adjustment if needed. And then what we're doing next is uh, we're going hand cut. Oh, and by the way, so the piece that bolts the motor, that is 3 16th. Each of the vertical pieces is 1 8th. The piece down there that you can sort of see maybe, can't really see it, but um, that piece is 3 8 as well. And then this piece right here will be cut out of 8th. I'm doing it because these vertical pieces don't need to be as thick. Um, this flat piece hangs off the front subframe quite a bit uh, so I don't want any flex there and then save with the part that bolted to the motor I uh, didn't want any flex breaking the motor or anything again the vertical pieces don't really have you know as much of a risk of flexing and they're pretty well braced this one will have some bracing between this one and the front one as well or the rear this piece goes right in there boom so We'll cut this out of eighth inch steel and see if it fits and weld it on. So now we're working on the driver's side and we have this, uh, basically the dry sump oil pump. Let me see if I can get you up under here. Yep, so that right there is the, oops, shit, there you go. That right there is the dry sump oil pump. Uh, you can see I already got the front part of the mount already made, but the rear part of the mount, there is a bunch more stuff. God, I am sorry. We're all over the place right now. Right there, uh, there's like a, a bolt, the oil filter housing, and some other stuff. But this is, kind of looks like a little bean. So this little bean right here is gonna be the rear part of the motor mount. So we're gonna bolt it in place and then drop some tack weld on it. And then the motor will be officially mounted somewhat. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is pull these out, weld them all up nicely, TIG weld, and add some more gusseting and stuff. Uh, this one is a little thin for my liking, but not much we can really do with what's there. Um, but the front piece has a whole lot of meat on it, so that's good. So right there, the front one has a whole lot of meat on it. I do need to shave a little bit, give it more clearance there around the oil pump. That that should make up for the lack of metal on this one, hopefully. Again, this engine doesn't make a whole lot of power. It's not like it's gonna be ripping motor mounts out or anything. It's only be, it's only gonna be about 400 wheel, we're guessing. Maybe a little bit over that. It should be all right. But then we're gonna work on the transmission mounts. Now we got a package here today and already test fitted them because we are way too anxious to get everything done and we have no self-control. Check it out. Boom, 
Uh, this is a set of Ferrari California headers. Found them on eBay for about 360 bucks. I have them mounted backwards, left and right. Uh, that's why it goes forward because we had a little clearance issue on the motor mount because I didn't have these beforehand. These will work for us. I think we got clearance all. Yeah, we got plenty of clearance on the backside. Um, so what we're gonna do is come off of there, do a little whoop, boom, over the subframe there, and then back. Uh, it's gonna be a two and a half inch, uh, mostly straight pipe, just a little simple muffler, along with uh, a little X pipe, just to make it quieter. Same with this side. Uh, originally, we thought we were gonna have clearance on the, or clearance issue on this little thermostat housing or whatever it is. All good. We're all clear, so that'll work. Um, and the reason we're doing this is because Corey is balling on a budget here, trying to get a Ferrari engine in his FRS for zero dollars. So these being $360 is less than the material that it would have been for me to make custom long tubes like I wanted to. So we just went ahead and did this, but it should still sound sick. Now we were able to get the motor pulled from the car, sitting right here, and I got all the mounts welded up and everything, and Corey is getting them installed. So we'll uh, step over here. So kept it pretty simple, drilled a couple holes just to make them look all fancy. Uh, this one right here weighs like two pounds, so not too bad, but definitely really solid. The bottom, like that face is, 3 16th, the rest of it's all eighth inch steel. TIG welded inside and out, and then on the outside, I ground it down just to give it the cool, you know, almost factory-ish look. Just, you know, in case we were trying to trick people into thinking this is a factory swap. And right here, you can see, You can see a lot better of the weird ass mount we had to make for this side. Uh, it's got all the little notches and everything to fit around the oil pump, which is right there, and it works. It's uh, probably pretty solid and it'll do the job. Then transmission mount, this one's really simple. Just a piece of 3 16 flat, uh, slotted holes on both sides, this piece was CNC cut. And then there's one center hole for the transmission mount and it allows it to slide forward and backward. And then just a little bit of eighth inch vertical bracing on the front and the rear. Generally pretty simple, but It'll do. And right now these are just spray painted, but this is all just gonna get powder coated later on once we uh, once we get everything properly uh, fitted and make sure everything works right. Uh, let's get that on there. And you can see the Ferrari California headers a lot better here. So off of this, I ordered a uh, custom stainless flange and we're just going to loop it around and then up and over. Ooh, almost hit my head. Don't do that. Uh, basically we're gonna come up and over. I don't know if we're going there or there on this side, but there we got plenty of room over here. So it should go pretty easily once we do the exhaust. And also up in there, you can see the transmission mounts. Uh, those bolt through the trans tunnel on each side. And on the inside of the car, there is a little plate that just sort of reinforces it so the bolts don't rip through. So those are in. And then this little plate right there bolts to that. All right, so right now we are going to call the auto parts store to see if they have the oil filter we need for Corey's engine. Let's find out how good O'Reilly's is. Thank you for calling O'Reilly, Eric speaking. Hey Eric, it's Corey from Sideways Fab. How's it going, man? Hey man, I need an oil filter for a 2009 uh, Ferrari F430. A few inches later. Um, looking all around, looking one eternity later. Oh, if you guys have one. They don't even offer one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Cool. They don't even offer one. I got a listing for an 09 Ferrari F430, but when I pull it up, all it shows is oil. <laughs> no filter. Damn, they have nothing for my car. Okay. Sweet. Thank you. All right, man. Bye. No problem. Have a good one. Wait. We'll, we'll see the best ones we can get. Let's see if AutoZone. AutoZone. All right. A hundred dollars? For uh, it's well, probably cheaper from the Ferrari dealership. There's one for a hundred fifty, but then let's see the cheapest one on eBay is like eighty-five. Ooh, actually, not bad. Hey, Mike, I've got a uh, 2009 Ferrari F430, and I'm looking for an oil filter. Oh, it, 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 okay. Um, holy crap. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. A Ferrari would not be in our system. Um, oh, damn. Uh, the joys. 
Um, what we can do, what I would do, ooh, that might be a tough one. Okay. They're, they're going to make that so that it's not serviceable. What I would do, I would try a couple of other sort of, have you tried like O'Reilly's and Advanced Auto Parts? Yeah, I tried O'Reilly's. I haven't called Advanced yet. Uh. I'll call them next. Shit, I'm sorry, man. All right. I have a good day. Oh, you're good. Thank you. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> shit, I'm sorry, man. Now we got the motor bolted up in its final resting place. Uh, plenty of room for the header to do final a little resting loop. resting place? Yes. You just said that like it was just going there to die. Beep, beep, beep. So that's the news we have to break to them. It's, it's not going to work. We have to scrap it. We're, it's a... It just needs scrapped, all of it. Yeah. But we got good clearance on everything. Everything. Do we even have? We have clearance on the heater hoses. Ooh. We can put heat in this bitch. Hell yeah. Um. Yeah. So we're gonna put this uh, Ferrari intake manifold on there. Oh, that's what I meant by scrapping it. We gotta scrap this. Yeah. Yeah. Not not all. Scrap that. scrap the stupid thing and put on the cool thing. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this intake manifold is way bigger than this intake manifold, and this intake manifold is already very out the hood. So this is gonna be big. See if anybody gets this reference. Oh shit. I got a Glock on my Rari intake. <laughs> All right, anyways, hate myself. We're gonna pull this off. All right, so intake manifold is off. Everything looks really nice in here. Like the, the cylinder or the ports are nice and polished, pretty clean. It's a little dirty under here, but we'll clean that later on. And we got the intake manifolds side by side. I noticed the Ferrari one is going to have a little bit more firewall clearance because it doesn't stick back as far. We line those up and you can see we got a bit more clearance in the back and a bit less clearance in the front. We realized that we're dumb. The Ferrari cars, engines, have direct injection and the Maserati doesn't. We need to convert this to port injection. We're gonna do that later on. Basically just shave that down, drill a hole, add a little flange to it, weld it on and it'll be good. Uh, we also might delete this just to make it look prettier because it's gonna be sticking out the hood. We need to buy two of these couplers. I don't know if this one would work or not. So we might be able to use that one. And then some Ferrari throttle bodies, which are gonna be expensive and Ferrari red powder coat like we kind of stripped off. If anybody wants to ask how much this is costing, just don't worry about it. This is a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Good job, Corey. I could have probably just bought a Ferrari. Almost. When you're too poor to afford a Ferrari, but you want a Ferrari, swap your car, and then you end up putting the amount of money that you could have just bought a Ferrari with. Dang it. Well, let's throw this on and... Say something, Logan. Logan never talks on YouTube. Never in these. Yeah. More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. Hey, there we go. All right, this is fucking sick. We have way more firewall clearance, and it looks fucking sick. It's so angry. It's. It looks a little lower, actually, ah, than the Maserati. It might be... No, no, I don't think it is any lower. I don't know. It's not much higher, but it does stick out way further forward, which puts it way, way more out of the hood. Because, yo, if you come look at it from the side, it's like... <laughs> Dude, come look at it from the front. It kind of looks like Wally. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like Wally. <laughs> yo, I love this. Corey, how much do you love this? Yeah. This is fucking sick. It's stupid. God, we are dumb. Fuck. This is retarded. Stay tuned for more. Uh, we got a lot more stuff coming, a lot of parts coming on their way right now. So there should be some updates soon. So, I got a sugar daddy, so. He got a sugar daddy. Mm. And I got a mustache. What's good? <laughs> and I have a mullet. He's got kind of a mullet. Kind of. Special. Thanks for watching.